Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for checking out this video. We're starting a new job today and we're gonna be installing some butylene pipe work. Right, let me just run you through this job that we're gonna be starting today. So this is a recent purchase by the client that we're gonna be working for. It's a two bed bungalow and the client is no longer happy with the central heating orientation and the layout of the pipe work. So this has actually had a combi conversion done within the last few years. So we've got this nice new valent combi boiler in this cupboard here. But normally when you carry out a combi boiler conversion, you only do minimal pipe work orientation. So Basically what that means is you are still left with a lot of the old pipe. So we've got Alcafin cold water main going up there, which runs all the way across through the loft. And also we've got exposed pipe work on the walls and radiators in location that the client no longer wants. So rather than trying to alter what we've already got, the client has decided that they would like us to run new central heating and hot and cold feeds all the way through the floor. So, as you can see here um, on the ground floor, we've got a suspended floor. So we've got joists, which makes it really accessible for us to run pipes. Now, we're gonna be running everything apart from exposed pipe work in the butylene pre-insulated pipes. Now, this is ideal in a situation like this because we can lift the floorboards where necessary and actually run it quite easily on underside of the joist or clip to it to all the new radiator locations. So we've just begun to start taking all the rads off and all the existing pipe work out. And we are cutting the floor now just to get our pipe work, pipe work runs uh, in place. Uh, so when we come back with all the materials, it's gonna be nice and easy. So we've got only four rads at the moment and we're picking up a pre-existing tower out in this bathroom. And as we move through the property, we have already cut the floorboards up, um, exposed the joists, and then we've just laid the boards back down in position so we don't fall down through the hole. So this is an example of some of the pipes that have been left um, after the combi conversion. Um, it's stuff like this that the client's not happy with. So um, they've agreed for us to put everything underneath the floor, move everything from the loft, and make everything nice and neat, and also bring it up to the latest building regulations with insulated pipe work all through the floor and we can run this system at a lower temperature because we will size the rats to suit so um, like I say we've already drained most of it down all the radiators are out we're just getting this prep now for the butylene pipe work <music> Okay, this little valent is staying and all we need to do is alter the pipe work underneath to join onto our insulated butylene pipe work. Now the current orientation is the pipes run along this wall here and they go up into the loft and then they actually drop down to where the old um, hot water cylinder would have been. So we need to disconnect the pipes from the existing isolation valves, clip them nice and neatly to this back wall and then drop them below this ground floor joist level to join onto our pre-insulated pipe work. Now we're also gonna change the gas carcass as well because we're lifting the floors and the customer doesn't want any pipe work in the loft. And as well as that, we've got this old black Alcafine cold water main, which we're gonna change, put a new stop clock on, and that just means everything's all nice and new in this cupboard and all the redundant pipe work can be removed.
Okay, so the next job is I need to drop the copper towels from the boiler down into the joist space below. Now you still need to allow one meter of rigid pipe work going into your appliance before you attach the butylene. And once I've got the copper into the joist space below, I can add my transition fittings and start running the insulated butylene pipe work. Okay, so we're about to start feeding this pre-insulated butylene pipe work through the ground floor joy space. Now, for those of you who aren't too familiar with butylene, they are a New Zealand-based company that do um, operate over here in England as well. I believe they've got headquarters over in Essex. And the main difference really between this and some of the other pipe work manufacturers in the market is the fact that it's crimp fit, not push fit. Now, the problem with push fit is they can blow off. You have problems with the O-rings. But with this, once it's crimped, you know that your uh, fitting's nice and secure. And I can assure you after five years of using this product, they don't leak at all. So um, you can also see how sleek the fittings are. They're a lot less bulky uh, than the push fit counterparts. And its price point, I would say, is somewhere between push fit and MLCP. So overall, you get good value for money and it is a quality product. So on this occasion, we've gone for the pre-insulated type. Uh, mainly because we need to now conform with our building regulations. So um, they do this in 22 mil, 16 mil and 10 mil, I believe, pre-insulated. Um, and as you can see, they also do it in the color coded. So in this job, we're using blue for the cold and then flow return and hot distribution in the red. So let's get this unrolled and start threading it through the ground floor joist space. Okay, so we've got the bulk of the pipe work in now and it was really easy to decoil. So unlike MLCP or push fit pipe, it's not like trying to wrestle a snake as you're poking it through the joist off a coil. So really easy to do. Um, we're just securing it now with some cable ties, wall ravens and galve bands. And then we're gonna start transitioning this butylene pipe to the copper. Okay, as you can see, I've got the cold water distribution pipe work directly underneath the boiler now, and I just need to transition between the butylene and the copper. So to do this, we are going to use a transition brass elbow, probably my favorite butylene fitting, which I use the most. So just get the pipe fluxed up. And I also like to flux in the fitting. And then I just need to angle that slightly down just to get underneath the other pipe work that's there and then literally just get this soldered up so i like this fitting because it's a really easy transition it's not like mlcp where you need to use like a press fit transition and a press fit coupling it's just one brass fitting <laughs> Okay, so the soldered fitting is all cool now and I've just put the shroud back on. So what I've done is I've cut the pipe work back to suit and I've just marked the depth with a pencil. So how deep the pipe needs to go into this fitting. And then all you do is simply slide it in onto that insert to as far as your depth goes. Now there isn't any sort of sight glass on it. You do need to mark the depth and I would recommend doing that on every occasion. And then once we've got it into the place, it's just a case of lining up your hand crimper with the center of that flat smooth section, like so. And then crimping it down.
Right, Bailey's just hung this vertical radiator and we're about to get it piped up. So as you can see, he's chased into the wall and he's dropped copper down into the ground floor joist location. Now, the butylene pipe work we've already run underneath the radiator and we're about to transition it using these brass elbow transition fittings. Now, although we're using pre-insulated pipe work to comply with new building rigs, obviously we would anyway um, in a void location. Butylene actually won't split or crack when it's frozen. So unlike push fit, when it freezes, the fittings pop off or the pipe splits, butylene won't actually do that. And I would say that's a really big bonus compared to other manufacturers. Right, this is the insulation that you get on the pre-insulated coils of butylene. It's 13 mil in depth, and as you can see, it comes with this color-coded membrane. So when you're cutting it, especially around your elbows and tees, it makes it easy to work with and it won't break apart. Now the butylene pipe work itself, it is RAS approved. And as you can see on the pipe work, we've got these depth lines um, where you can cut and that sort of signals how far you need to push it into the fitting. I do still use a pen though, just to make sure I get it right. And as you can see here, it conforms with BS7291. Okay, here we have another designer radiator that we've just installed and what you can do instead of running the copper pipe into the chase is you can actually put the butylene in there if you like and also just use a transition fitting for the tail. So you'd have your grey pipe in the wall and then just your tail sticking out. Sometimes that's preferable in new builds, etc. The only thing I would say is just make sure you uh, tape up the clamp ring. We don't want to get any flux or any screed or any plaster on that ring at all. All right, we are fully piped up and we're just about to fill up the central heating and we can check to see if we get any leaks at all. So let's go to the boiler and turn on the filling loop. Okay, another happy customer, another job complete and not a single leak on the butylene plumbing system. For those of you who have been following our channel for a while, you would have seen how much of an advocate we are for copper rigid pipework systems. Now, about five years ago, we needed a plumbing system that was flexible, easy to use, budget friendly, and just got to places that copper actually couldn't. So in the past, I have previously used push fit systems, I've used MLCP systems, I've had my press gun now for probably over 10 years doing MLCP systems, but nothing in all honesty compares with the butylene system. It comes with a 25 year warranty, the uh, sales team or all the reps that are out and about in the UK are really, really good. So you can contact them either via their website or via the telephone and they will come out to you on site, give you an actual demonstration of how the system works. So you get that great um, on site support um, the fittings are just head and tails above anything else on the market so one single fitting you can crimp it with your hand tool you don't need to buy expensive crimp tools if you don't need to 
um, and just the speed of how you can install it is just a lot faster than any other system on the market. But the main selling point for me, which I got to in the beginning of the video, is the fact that once it's crimped, you just do not have to worry about it popping off. And that's just been a big problem for me with any other flexible plastic plumbing system. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. Please consider subscribing and I'll catch you on the next one.